I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 10 picks. Okay, as you can see, it is currently 10. It is currently 12, 13 a.m. here in Las Vegas, Monday, November 8th, 2021. And Sunday games are over. We still have a Monday night game for NFL Week 9. We're going to add the Steelers on a money line versus the Bears this weekend, or well, this Monday night. I think the Steelers could win this game. I'm not going to take them against the spread, as the Steelers are not really known for beating teams uh, by seven points, as they just beat the... Uh, um, they scored 15 points in their last victory over the Browns. The Bears aren't really known for scoring many points, but they have a really, really, really good defense. So I'm just going to take the Steelers on the money line here. First game we're going to take for the NFL Week um, 10 picks. Or we have to take the Ravens on the money line. I think they could win this game. I'm not going to take play um, too much spreads on Thursday night games as they're short weeks. We, we don't have much injury reports out yet for Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So we'll see what the injury report happens. But I think the Ravens could win this game versus the Dolphins who have quarterback issues. I know the Dolphins just beat the Titans, but the Titans are a terrible team and they're not as good as the Ravens. So I'm going to take the Ravens on the money line. The Indianapolis Colts versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars are coming off of a really, really nice home victory over the Buffalo Bills. I think in this game, the point spread... Colts just beat the Jets by like 30 points. That was a Thursday night game, so they have some extra time. I'm just going to take the Colts on the money line, right? I don't want to give up 10 points. If this was a teaser, I would tease the Colts down some points. But 10.5 points seems like a, a little bit too much for a Jaguar, Jaguars team that just beat the Brown, the Bills. So I'm just going to take the Colts on the money line. Here, I have to take the Browns plus two and a half. It's, it's, I wish it was three. It would have been nice at three. Um, I, I should probably buy it up to three. That's not like a terrible idea. I don't really ch trust Mac Jones to score many points. They have a really, really good defense. We have to see if maybe Weber plays effect in this game. But I think the, uh, the Browns have a really, really good offense. So we'll see. Plus two and a half points seem pretty good to me because I think the Browns can actually win this game outright. I think the Browns are one of the best underdog plays of this weekend. Patriots are coming off of uh, two pretty good wins, I think, on the road, right? They beat the Chargers on the road. And who did they just beat this weekend? Oh, the Carolina Panthers. They did beat, they beat the Carolina Panthers pretty good. And McCarthy was... McCaffrey was back, but either way, I still like the Browns plus two and a half. I'm going to have to take the Browns plus two and a half. That may be a trap bet. It may not be the greatest bet in the world, but I don't trust Mac Jones. I think Mac Jones was, what, like 12 for 18 in that game. The Browns have a really good offense. I think uh, I see them putting up a good point. I think they could win the game outright. Who Next game, the Cowboys and the Falcons. I feel like the safe play would be just taking the Cowboys on the money line. The Falcons played the Cowboys last year and they gave up one of the biggest leads of all time. This is a second home game in a row for the Cowboys. Um, Cowboys all coming off of a pretty bad loss to the Denver Broncos. I can't give up nine points after a loss like that. I don't think the Falcons win this game. Probably one of the best bets in this game would be taking the Falcons plus nine points, right? But for this specific parlay, I'm going to take the Cowboys on the money line. I'm not going to give up that many points after the Cowboys just lost a home game to a team that I think are probably not as good as the Falcons. The Falcons have a really good offense. So I'm just going to take the um, Cowboys on a money line. I believe Magic Mike White Lightning may still be injured for the Jets in this game. I'm not going to give um, 13 points to the Jets in this game. Even if they're down to the third string quarterback. If they're down to the third string quarterback, then the Bills should easily win this game by 20, 30 points. 
But if um, Wilson comes back or Mike White Lightning comes back for this game, I think the play would be to take the Jets against the spread. But on this money line, I'm going to take the Bills on a money line on the road again. I think they revenge their loss versus the Jags last week. You know, the Bills already have three losses. If they lose a fourth game, this is a division game. That would be pretty bad. They would really have to start worrying about the Patriots overtaking them for the division lead. I think the because of this is this is a division game. These teams know each other. The Bills should be able to beat the Jets on the money line. I mean, come on. Next game, I'm gonna take the Bucks. I feel like minus nine and a half isn't really that many points if you think about it, right? The Washington football team they think the Bronc the uh. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming off of a bye week. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming off of a pretty bad loss to Trevor Simeon and the Saints. But you know what? I think coming off of a bye week, coming off of a team where they beat last year in the playoffs, this is not the same defense that called out Brady, that wanted Brady last year. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus nine and a half points. Seems like a lot. Ooh, next game, I have to take the Chargers minus two and a half at home. I think they could probably win this game on a last second field goal. The Vikings kind of lose almost all their games by under six points. So you would imagine this game is probably going to come down to a field goal. I probably shouldn't play this game. Um, the Chargers are coming off of, of a victory over the Eagles. But yeah, I think I, I could take the Chargers uh minus two and a half at home. That that seems like a fair a bet for a team at home. So I'll take the Chargers minus two and a half. Some of these lines are really low. I expect a lot of line movement later on in the week. As you can see, so many of these games are under one possession. Next game, I'm going to have to take the Broncos at home, right? You would think the Eagles are not a really good team. They have to go all the way to Mile High Stadium. Broncos coming off a really, really impressive win in Dallas over the Cowboys 30-16. to They basically won that game totally offense and defense and special teams. Um, I don't see the Eagles as really too much of a threat on offense or defense versus the Bronco team. I think the Broncos could win this game eat clearly by more than two and a half points. So I think a really good bet, probably one of the best bets of the weekend, is minus two and a half um, for the Broncos at home versus the Eagles. And the last bet, I'm going to... This is this is a tough one. Chiefs are coming off of two, I would say, not really impressive victories the only problem is one of those victories is over the Giants who just beat the Raiders. This is a close game. This is the, a division game. This is in Las Vegas. I feel like I should just stay away from it. Right? Because I'm I'm leaning towards the Raiders plus two and a half. I just, I worry that, okay, the Chiefs with two victories in a row, even though they beat the Giants and Aaron Rodgers less, um, Packers, this is kind of the time where the Chiefs start wailing off victories. I think the best bet for me is just to stay out of this. I, I, I would like to take the um, Raiders. I would probably tease that number from two and a half to about, what, eight and a half, nine and a half with 6.7 point teasers. But for this parlay, the fact that I'm from Vegas, I don't, two and a half, it's not really the best bet in the world. To take the Raiders, two and a half, it's probably a better bet to take the Chiefs. I'm just going to be a fan for that game. I'm not going to bet on it. So this is going to be a nine-team NFL Week 10 bet. We're going to risk $3.54 to win $104.21. We're taking the Steelers on the money line, the Ravens on the money line, the Colts on the money line, the Browns plus two and a half, the Cowboys on the money line, the Bills on the money line, 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus nine and a half against the spread, the Chargers minus two and a half against the spread, and the Broncos minus two and a half against the spread. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my NFL Week 10 bets. We have a nine-team parlay. We're taking the Steelers on a money line versus the Bears, the Baltimore Ravens on a money line versus the Dolphins, the Colts on a money line versus the Jaguars, the Cleveland Browns plus two and a half versus the Patriots, the Cowboys on a money line versus the Falcons, the Bills on a money line versus the Jets, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus nine and a half against the spread versus the Washington football team, the Chargers minus two and a half against the spread versus the Vikings. Really worry about that game. And the Broncos, which I think it's probably the best bet of the week. The Broncos minus two and a half versus the Phillies, Eagles. What are your NFL week 10 bets? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite favorite? What's your lock of the week? Who's your underdog of the week? What game are you looking forward to most? I would say the game I'm going to be watching probably closely would be... Wow. It's not the greatest schedule. I mean, I would say the Browns versus the Patriots. We have a pretty good a- AFC game right there. But besides that, the rest of the schedule isn't too crazy. I would say the Vikings versus the Chargers. I I guess that would probably be one of the best games of this week. And and the Monday night game. We'll see if um we'll see this um Bears versus the Steelers tonight, that should be a pretty good game. I, hopefully, the Steelers could win at home. But for the most part, week uh, 10 isn't the most exciting week for games. But I'm Jason Las Vegas. These are my 2021 NFL Week 10 picks. We have a 9 Team pick parlay. We're risking $3.54 to win $104.21.